Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw an ER diagram for banking management system. So if you don't know what is ER diagram and what are the components of ER diagram, then I have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen. So watch that video first. So ER diagram for banking management system is a visual presentation of entities and relationships of banking management software database. So here I'm taking only six entities, bank, branch, customer, account, employee and loan. Now let's define the relationship between them. So first let's see relationship between bank and branch. So bank have different branches. So I'm adding have relationship between bank and branch. Next relationship between bank and customer will be bank has a customer now next let's see a relationship between customer and account so customers can have one or more accounts so i am adding relation have between customer and account and employee manage accounts as well as a customer so i am adding relation manage between employee uh, customer and account Next, let's see the relationship between customer and loan. So customers can avail uh, loans. So I am adding avail relationship between customer and loan. And for account entity, I am adding specialization. Specialization is a top down approach in specialization. One higher level entity can be broken down into two lower level entities. So if you don't know about specialization and generalization concept, then I have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen. So click on that link and watch that video first. So account can be saving account or it can be current account. And from entity loan, we can create weak entity set. So what is a weak entity set? So entity type should have a key attribute which uniquely identifies each entity in the entity set. But there uh, exists some entity type for which key attribute can't be defined. So these are called weak entity type. The entity sets which do not have sufficient attribute to form a primary key or known as a weak entity sets and the entity sets which have a primary key are known as strong entity set. So weak entity is depend on strong entity to ensure the existence of weak entity. So in this ER diagram, payment is the weak entity. Loan payment is the identifying relationship. So primary key of the loan along with the partial key would be used to identify the records. So weak entities are represented with the double rectangular box in the ER diagram and the identifying relationships are represented uh, with a double diamond. Partial key attributes are represented with dotted lines. So these are the relationships which I have uh, defined in this uh, six entities. So let's see the cardinality ratio between these entities. So one bank can have uh, many branches and there can be many customers in one bank. So one bank can have many customer. Next customer can have multiple accounts. So let's add one to many relation here. And one employee can manage multiple customers as well as multiple accounts at the same time. So let's add one to many relationship here. Next, one customer can avail multiple loans. And for uh, one loan, we can do multiple transaction like uh, we can divide the payment. So I am adding one to many relationship here. So this is the cardinality ratio between these entities. Now come to the attributes. So for the entity bank, so first is code. Code is the key attribute here. And second attribute is bank name and then city and address. Next is entity branch. So for this we have three attributes, branch code, branch name and address. And branch code is the key attribute here. Next we have a customer. So for customer, first we have customer ID. This is the primary key and second attribute is name. So here basically I am using composite attribute. So we have uh, break down the name attribute into two sub attributes that is first name and last name. And next is mobile number. I am using multi valued attribute for mobile number because one user can have various contact numbers and then address. Next we have account entity. So for uh, this we have two attributes account number and balance and here account number is the key attribute. 
next we have employee entity for this we have four entities employee id employee name mobile number and address and employee id is a key attribute here next is entity loan so for this we have two attributes loan number and amount and here loan number is a key attribute last we have uh, entity payment so here we have three entities payment number payment date and payment amount and here payment number is the partial key so we have to denote this with the dotted line because payment entity is a weak entity so this is how you can draw er diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and different attributes according to you so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos